What's up guys? I'm Doug DeMarco and let's unbox some stuff, man. All right. We have Meathord. All right. For those of you who don't know, this is a fantasy RPG unboxing. A little mystery box, as it were. It contains uh, quite a bit of stuff, usually items that are more uh, campaign focused instead of accessory focused. So let's see what we got. On top we have some more dungeon tiles. You can never have too many tiles. Always use them for something. We have a card. I believe this comes from the deck of something. Obviously, since it's a card, but you know what I mean. Uh, we'll look at the uh, sheet for this. We have uh, another bag. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, we have some token style items, little gems. Four of these, these are black ones, or maybe a dark purple. They're actually purple, a little purple haze. They look black, but you gotta see them. They're, they're definitely a, a darker color, but they're purple. And we have a ring. This is kind of unusual. This is more of a, maybe like a campaign item, it's super small. I don't, uh, it's not gonna fit me. This is more like a campaign token item. You know, maybe uh, you gotta find the signet ring of a young noble or something. I always like visual aids in campaigns. It just helps bring it to life a little bit. Because when you describe a ring, if you don't have a visual aid, I guarantee you everybody around your table will think of something different than what you're thinking of. No matter how descript you are, everybody will have what they believe it is in their mind, which is good and bad. All right, we have another Knights of the Dinner Table. This is number 112. And a lot of people love these. I mean, you know, some of you guys give me some flack because I said uh, it's not my bag, but it just it just isn't. And But there's some good stuff in here. There's a lot these are more than the comics. These also come with articles and various other things. But uh, for some reason, I don't know why, it just never connected with me as a player, as far as Knights at the Dinner Table goes. But it uh, it's a long-running series. All right, our Meath Horde number 30. This is our items. We'll go over that last. And we have a... Something... A Necro Mage. Joel Chamholtzman.com. Joel Chamholtzman.com? I don't know. I'm, I'm slaughtering that name. All right. It's a pretty nice visual. And it looks like we have a note of some kind. This is definitely in the player handout style. Check this out. And it looks like a transcribed magic missile spell. This is pretty neat. And it has a, uh, you can get a good picture of this. You can kind of see it, the little, uh, this is an actual wax seal. But this is a little heavier stock paper, you know, kind of crumpled up, did some aging. And it has probably some type of elvish on the front and on the back it has what it is in English and it actually gives the spell description that's kind of neat and this would be a nice this is kind of a nice handout and I've done quite a few of these before as far as like uh, you know like weapon lore things like that I've never thought about doing them with spells you know this could be a you know your level one character finds a, a spell book that's just ripped apart and this is the only uh, legible one that's left. It's kind of neat. And, uh, you know, even though things like this are probably pretty cheap to produce, they just add a little something extra to the box. I like it. Ob obviously, I like it because I've been going on about it for like three minutes. All right. We have our uh, adventure card. This is the Red Room. 
All right. The Red Room. Well, there's a quick blurb. Yeah. There's some kind of baddie right there. And we have a Judges Guild journal. That is ancient. This is a... Uh, you can always kind of tell how old something is by the paper. And like older Judges Guild like this, at some point this was probably white and now it is brown due to probably sun damage just sitting there oxidizing. Uh, let's see, I wonder if there's a date on here somewhere. I always like to see the dates on these just to see you know, how old it is. I don't see a date in the Indicata. Uh, let's look at some of the other stuff through the table of contents. We've got uh, a bunch of stuff. Oh, maps. I use maps like these all the time. You could use a map like this for anything. And no one, I guarantee you, like except for people watching this video right now and those who subscribe to this box, no one has ever seen this map in 30 years. <laughs> uh, okay, here's something. Uh, the cartoon is dated from 1978, so 40 years. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And uh, for old items like this, you know, this is, this is going to be for late first edition or the original edition, early second edition. Uh, but stats are just crunch. You can supplement any monsters you want and use the adventure as is. You might have to update it a little bit for the terminology. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for something on game night that you need to run real quick, you can pick something like this up and run it as is. There's hardly any prep work for it because this was in between the uh, major miniature hall and the uh, no miniatures style of gaming. There was kind of a weird area there where it started with miniature wargaming and it was all miniature focused. And then it kind of moved to no miniatures. And then it kind of flip flopped back. And now we use miniatures for pretty much everything. Since they're cheap and economical. And our last item. We've got quite a few items in this box. This is the folio. Just the folio. Not a fiend folio. Just a folio. And this is shrinked. Uh, this is from the Nameless Realm. Art of the Genre. Looks like it has part one of Adventures from the Emerald Serpent campaign. Uh, a new monster. A gazetteer. An adventure for levels 5 through 7. In both 1st edition and 5th edition format. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so let's take a look at our index card. To see what we have. All right. So the Horde of the Necromages, yours. And it shows here a picture of everything we've gotten. We have our Judges Guild journal, our folio number 11, our Red Room one page adventure, our magic scroll prop for a magic missile, our Ray's Undead magic ring. Oh, that's what it is. Ray's Undead. Our Necromage Full Color Illustration. Our Critical Fail Sample Card. That's what it is. That's where I remember it from. Because I had a deck of those and I, I believe I traded it to uh, someone who wanted an extra one or didn't get one and needed one from uh, one of my other boxes. Our two basic Dungeon Hex Tiles. Four Obsidian Cursed Death Tokens. A Velveteen Dice Bag. And our Knights of the Dinner Table, number 12. Now let's check out this blurb. This month we focused on Necromage and begun our spellbook collection just for you. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to uh, continue to get spells like that. That would be kind of neat. Uh, we are grateful to Scott Taylor at Art of the Genre for his fantastic folio publication that is this month's featured source book. The art is unparalleled, so enjoy it. And on back, it looks like we have an upgraded digital download stuff. So we get our free PDF uh, for all the... We get it also a PDF for the folio. That's kind of neat. 
especially now because I use a lot of stuff on my tablet now that just even two years ago I didn't. It uh, as an old man moving into the digital age has uh, has its bonuses. Books are heavy. Uh, to redeem your free free PDF of the Red Room one page adventure. Oh, and we have some member discounts. That's kind of cool. What's coming next? Ooh, next month is the Pirates Edition. I love me some pirates. Yar. All right, guys, that was this month's uh, Meath Horde. Thanks for watching, and you be awesome.